what is up guys as you guys can see i finally got my tuner for my truck today we're going to be installing it don't mind my blue fingers i just got done salting out here in michigan um pretty bad ice storm out here so i've been at work but i came home and this is finally in so i'm happy to install this thing i do have to get some stuff off of it because i do have to get some custom tuning for it so i have to send them my ecu strategy and stuff like that and then my gear ratio so i am going to hook it up i'm going to show you guys all the stuff on it and then stay tuned because in the end of this video we're going to have the custom tunes on it and we're going to be ripping Alrighty, guys so i'm going to unbox this for you right now like i said don't mind the fit i literally just got off work so um we're going to open this up i don't even know what's in here I mean, obviously, I know the tuner's in here, but I don't know what else is in here. I've never had one of these, and I didn't really watch any videos. So it looks like when you open up the box, guys, I'm going to show you guys what's in here. Also, if you guys do want to mount this on your dash, uh, you have to buy an extra part, which doesn't come with it, which I think is stupid. But I had to buy this, which was like 25 bucks, which I did not want to spend. That was a ripoff, but you kind I kind of had to because I wanted it up on my dash. So this, uh, this device does not use Wi-Fi, so okay. I don't know why they had to say that. Um, I guess these are all warnings and stuff like that. And then right here, we have the quick start guide. So I'm probably going to read this and going to see what's going on in here. As you guys can see, it opens up. Okay, it opens up really big. One minute. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in here. I've never seen this thing in person. It looks awesome. I really don't want to get my blue fingers all over it, but I kind of have no choice because they're kind of stained. So, so what it looks like, I was expecting it to be heavier. It's actually pretty light. It's like plastic. I thought it was going to be way more heavier, but I guess it doesn't matter what kind of material it is as long as it does what it's supposed to. That thing looks clean. Look at that thing, guys. See yourselves in it. SCT. All right. So this, we don't need this, I don't think. Um, what else is in here? Obviously the plugs. So there's nothing else in the box. There's just this. Which I don't know how to open this. Right here. Alright. So right here we have the thing to go to the OBD2. Which plugs into the screen. And then this. And then right here it looks like they give you a sick SCT decal. So that's sick. Might put that on the back of my truck. So I'm going to keep that up there. All right, we're going to get this hooked up right here, the OBD2, and then we're going to fire this thing up and see what happens here. I do have something plugged into my OBD2, I'm not really sure what. So whatever was just plugged into my OBD2, I just unplugged, so hopefully that wasn't anything impor important. I don't know if it has to do with my gauges or not, if that was something important, but I don't really care. I'm just trying to get my freaking tuner installed. I don't care if that was important. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh, it is powering up. Okay. So it has it has the main menu up, guys. So now I should probably read the manual. So I'm just going to follow this guide real quick. Once you guys get these, you can follow the guide. But um, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done following this guide. Alrighty, guys. So as it says here, I'm going to go check for updates. So I'm going to have to go plug this thing into my computer. So I will be back to you guys. I'm going to go do everything that it says on here, and then I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, so I just spent about 30 minutes trying to update this thing, just for to realize that it's already up to date. So, honestly, when you get it out of your package, don't even try to update it. It should already be up to date. If it's not, then I don't know what to tell you, because honestly, I just wasted 30 minutes. Because this website is actually really confusing, and it's pretty hard to download this thing. But once you get it all figured out... Mine didn't even need updating, so now we're gonna go back to the truck. Like I said, guys, I probably I probably wouldn't even waste my time if I was to do this again, uh, trying to update it because it's not really worth it. It should be automatically updated when you get it. I'm gonna send Blessed Performance all the serial numbers and VIN numbers so then they can give me my custom tunes back. So now I'm just gonna follow the rest of this list. I'll get back to you guys um, when I do get the tunes for this thing. So I'll let you guys know if it takes weeks, days. I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to get back to me, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a few days, hopefully. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Um, I got a day off of school because ice, apparently. So, um, where the tunes did come in at like 10 o'clock last night. I did not feel like installing them last night because I was super tired. So, it is the next morning. But, let's get these bad boys installed now. Also, I do have to get a new door seal back there because the whole thing was leaking water yesterday. So, there's some rags up there. I don't know if they're working, but um, it was like leaking water everywhere. I'm gonna take it off the uh, stand right now. 
I was thinking about maybe moving the stand up here. I don't really know though. I think I like it down here. But I'm gonna take it off of here. We're gonna reset the truck to stock. I think it's already at stock, but I'm just gonna reset it to stock because I've seen a lot of people tell me to do that. So we're gonna reset the truck to stock. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then we're gonna take it up to my computer. We're gonna download the custom tunes on here and then we're gonna bring it back to the truck. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna turn this thing on right now. So to reset it to stock, all we're gonna do is we're gonna click program vehicle. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't set to stock, it would say reset to stock right here. But I think we're gonna move up to my room and we're gonna put on the custom tunes right now. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, I have my tunes right here in my email. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over them and then you're just gonna click this little download button right here. After you do that for all of them, they're gonna pop up in your downloads right here. So just keep them right here. And then you're gonna have this SCT device updater, which will tell you how to download this when you have the SCT. So you're gonna, before you even update it, just automatically check for updates. Make sure your device is updated. All right, so as you guys can see, it says it's up to date, so you do not have to update it. So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click load custom tune files. You're gonna have a pop-up like this that pops up. You can either click locate custom tunes, which I don't know if my computer is gonna directly find them. No, my computer didn't find them, so click cancel then you're gonna go to browse i found mine hidden down here so first i'm gonna install the extreme performance we're gonna open it up once it's in here you're gonna click add to device and then once you get it right here you're gonna click program all right guys so i got all the tunes updated now we're gonna take this thing back out to the truck and we're gonna see what they do now that we have this plug back in we're gonna wait for it to load up um we're gonna go out here we're gonna go to program vehicle um, it's going to say street use notice, can't use this in California, whatever. And we're going to turn the vehicle to on position. Just follow the on screen instructions, it's two to three seconds. I just wait for mine to stop dinging. So now that it stopped dinging, continue. Now we wait. Our custom tune should be on here. Okay, so as you guys can see, available custom tunes are down here. We have all of our tunes right here. Um, today I'm going to be loading up the EcoBeast Street because I just want to get some better gas mileage. So we're going to click on that. We're going to wait. Um, so it has axle ratio and then time revs per mile. So this is like for your tires. If you have, if you guys have bigger tires, I have 35, so I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to search it up what it is though. And then your axle ratio, we're going to have to figure out what that is because I don't know what mine is. So we're going to figure that out and then I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty guys, so the res per mile is 595. I do not really know the axle ratio of my truck because I am missing the sticker, so I'm going to have to figure this out. If I don't figure it out, I'm probably just going to leave it stock. I'm not really sure that that's going to mess anything up, but um, I don't really know what to do because I don't know my axle ratio because my sticker on my door is missing. So so now you guys just follow the instructions on here. Okay, so now it's downloading the tune to my vehicle. So I'll get back to you guys when this is done downloading because it's going to take a little while. Alrighty guys, now that we do have the tune installed, we're gonna go to vehicle functions and we're gonna click special functions. Right here, it's gonna give us the option, which my truck's already on. It's gonna give us the option to do a cam reset. This is what you're gonna wanna do every time you install. Well, not every time you install a new tune, just the first times you install a new tune, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, let's see here, we do have this installed. Just follow these on-screen instructions and then make sure you do this when you get a new tune. Alrighty guys, it's gonna be the first time starting it since we installed the street tune, so let's see what happens here. Alrighty guys, so we just drove about 10 miles and I'm getting 12.5 miles per gallon, which may not be good to you guys, but I was getting nine miles per gallon before. So I was driving pretty lenient, but I mean, I did, I was testing to see how much power this thing has. So I kind of pressed the brake a little bit and I pressed the gas pedal and I ended up spinning the tires all the way through the intersection. So this tune does have a lot of power in it, which I was not expecting from the street tune, but literally I, I barely pressed the brake. I barely touched the gas. I was just seeing how much boost I could build. And then all of a sudden the tires broke loose and I just spun, I literally spun tires while driving forward for about probably 500 feet. I was just spinning tires while I was full, full pedal of the metal. So probably was not good, good thing to do, but, um, still are warming up the transmission. So I was going easy. That's the only time I little, I literally spun it because I was just trying to see the power that this thing has. I literally spun tires on the street tune. So I'm kind of scared for the extreme performance tune, but um yeah miles per gallon are doing good three miles per gallon gain isn't too bad and that's only from 10 miles so if i keep driving uh it might go up higher but that's pretty good for me for a diesel so yeah and the engine light does go off once i turn on the truck now which obviously it's off right now 
But um, yeah, we're going to hit up the gym real quick.